My top end safety razors for 2021, coming up next. Hi, YouTubers and wet shavers everywhere. It's MarkWithGeorgeTune.com. I'm back with another video. Thanks so much for stopping by and sharing your time with me. I really do appreciate it. I know there are a lot of choices out there, so thank you very much for choosing my channel. If this is your first visit to my channel, welcome. Make yourself at home. Check out all the other videos. We talk about all things traditional wet shave here. And also, please consider subscribing. I welcome your company and your comments. Well, with this video, I'm going to show you some of the top end razors I have in my collection. Now, I've reviewed all of these razors, so you can go back and see some of the uh, reviews I've done on these. But this is going to be kind of an overview of uh, some of my top end razors. By top end, I'm talking about razors that are about $55 to $60 and up. These are absolutely wonderful razors. These are lifetime razors that are going to last for generations. They're very well made, high quality and uh, they also give great, great shaves. I find myself uh, reaching for many of these razors. When I do my video reviews uh, on camera, there is a drawer right here to my left, and when I open up that drawer every once in a while while I'm doing a review, a lot of these razors are in that drawer because I'm using them quite a bit. Uh, now, I am not going to be talking about some of the um, lower price razors in this video. I'm gonna do another video. Uh, specifically targeted those razors because there are some great, great razors out there in that $25 to $40 price point. Absolutely wonderful. These are a little more, a little more pricey. And I've also included some of the adjustable razors in this too, because they're just so darn good. Now, um, in no particular order, because I consider all these razors a number one pick. If I was going away for the weekend or, uh, you know, four, four or five days, something like that, uh, and I was running around and I uh, were to tell a family member to grab any of the razors that I have here on this table and throw it into my dop kit. Just grab one and put it in there so I could have something to shave with while I'm traveling. Um, any of these razors would be a good pick. I would love to have any of these razors. So uh, let's get right to it. And in no particular order, because like I say, they're all my number one pick. Let's start with some of the adjustable razors that I have. Let's start it off with the Mercur Futur. As of right now on Amazon, this uh, highly polished chrome Mercur Futur is about $72. It's an adjustable razor. It's a two-piece razor. Let me show you how the cap comes off. I just have to do that very carefully so I don't drop it like that. And you install the blade here and you snap this cap uh, back on. Yeah, let's snap it on back well, like, like that, uh, like that. It adjusts from one to six and I like to Instead of holding it like this, I like to do it on the palm of my hand because that is one of the downsides be, uh, of this razor that if you have slick hands and you're adjusting it like this, your fingers could slip and you could cut yourself on that blade edge there. That's probably one of the only other, that's probably one of the two downsides to this razor. The other downside a lot of, a lot of folks uh, point to is the razor head. It is a little overly large and cumbersome, although, uh, I've become very, very much attuned and accustomed to it, and it gives great, great shaves. Uh, at the upper level, uh, four, five, six, it can be somewhat aggressive. I use it at uh, settings three, two, and one, and I get a wonderful, wonderful shave with this razor. And also, the indentation in this handle uh, allows for a very good grip. Now, if, if it seems to get a little slippery because of the smoothness of the handle, you can always rub your fingers, uh, wet your hands and rub your fingers in some alum block, and uh, that'll, you know, increase the stickiness of, uh, of your fingers to this handle. Really terrific, terrific razor. If you're looking for a really good adjustable razor that looks great and has that futuristic look to it, uh, the Mercur Futur. Just be aware of the overly large head and the smooth handle. It has nice weight and heft as well. Uh, I was really surprised when I first got this, uh, how, how nice the weight was. But it is very, very, very well made. And again, this is a razor that's going to last a lifetime. Um, next up in the adjustable razor is the uh, Vikings Blade 
Emperor Meiji. Boy, this is a terrific razor. This has got some wonderful heft to it. It is built like a little tank. It's twist to open, and it is absolutely beautifully, precisely made. The adjustment is from uh, one to nine. So you can adjust this from, uh, from one to nine right here on the collar. Let me see if I can see that right there. You can see that right there. One to nine on the collar. And it's a smooth adjustment uh, so that uh, if you want to uh, uh, pick a setting between, say, uh, four and five, you can get to four and a half, four and three quarters, four and a quarter, something like that. Really like it. So you can make those minute adjustments. It also has an asymmetrical razor head uh, so that uh, one side is a little, just a little milder than the other side. I like that. So instead of dialing down and you want to change the aggression on the fly, all you have to do is flip the razor head and go from something that's a little more aggressive to something that's a little milder, especially if you're going, you know, work, working in the neck area there. Just flip it over and just use it that way. I also use it as a regular double-sided uh, double, double -sided razor, a double-edged razor. It works well that way too uh, because that, that uh, step from uh, aggressive to mild when you flip it over, it's, it's there, but you know if you want to use it as a double-edged razor, it, it really doesn't get in the way. It's really, really a terrific razor. Great weight and heft. Uh, wonderful, wonderful plating on this. The, the whole color scheme and everything is terrific. And it's also very representative of the entire Emperor adjustable razor line, uh, Vikings Blade, as well as the Crusader lines. Now, the Emperor uh, razor lines are probably about the 55 to $60. Crusaders are a little less expensive because they're a little thinner handle. But these Emperor razors, the the Emperor, the Emperor Augustus, and this Emperor Meiji are about $55, $60, depending on the plating and color scheme you get. Uh, terrific, 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 terrific razors. And again, twist to open. Yeah, these are these are just great, great razors. Love the Meiji, though. The Meiji is absolutely a favorite. Next up is the uh, Mercur Progress. Boy, this is a wonderful razor. It's about $60. Um, it's a two-piece razor. It comes apart like this. Okay, you just loosen it up like that. Install your blade or install your blade here and just tighten it up again like that. And then it adjusts from about one to five. Uh, yeah, one to five. And it is a very nice razor. Again, the upper register of this four and five really starts to get a little too aggressive for me. Again, I keep it at about setting two and three, three and a half. This is a smooth adjustment uh, razor as well, so you can make those minute changes. Uh, it doesn't have to be three and four. It can be three, three and a quarter, you know, three and a half, a little more than three and a half, that sort of thing. Really, really wonderful razor, beautifully chromed. Now, a lot of uh, wet shavers, uh, some sh wet shavers, some wet shavers don't really care for this off-white knob here. I like this. I like this a lot. Uh, it's a throwback to the 1950s, has a very nostalgic quality, uh, brings a very nostalgic quality to the razor. I don't think the design of this razor has changed since it was introduced, I think, in 1955. It stayed the same. It is a very, very well-made razor. And again, it's another razor that's going to last years and years and years. Now, if you want something with a little bit of a larger handle, uh, more traditional knurling, because there is some piping here on the side, not really knurling, um, and still have that traditional safety razor look, uh, well, then there's the Parker variant. This is the same design as the, as the, as the Progress right here. Same, same kind of design, but boy, is it, this is really nice. It has a little more weight. Uh, it has really nice knurling. It is a two-piece razor, just like the Parker. It, it adjusts the same. It cleans the same. It has the same kind, of, a similar shape, similar shape, and um, it's just a really wonderful razor. So it's got the same kind of razor head there. And uh, really terrific, about $60 uh, on Amazon right now and some other wet shaving outlets uh, that carry it. Uh, really, really terrific, terrific razor. I believe it comes in a variety of plating styles. Uh, and, uh, you know, really uh, a fine razor in that it's adjustable and you can find... Um, that level of aggression for your skin and your beard type, which which makes this a really, really good choice. And if you're going to spend, 
you know, $60 for a razor. It's nice to have that variable there. That's, that's really, really very, very nice. Now, in the other realm of adjustable razors, which is similar, but similar in, the, in, 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 in that it's an adjustable razor, but not entirely like the adjustable razors that I showed you, is the Rockwell 6S right here. The Rockwell 6S comes in a package like this right here. And you get three different plates, and these plates have different levels of aggression. So it's a completely stainless steel razor, stainless steel handle, base plate, and cap right there. Uh, the plates come in different levels of aggression. So that is level four, that is level two. So all you do is just flip it uh, on your handle, and whatever number is read from the underside, that's the level of aggression your razor is set at. So when you buy a Rockwell, you get the handle, you get the cap, and you get this case with two other base plates here. So for instance, this is a, a three, which is also a one on the other side. And of course I showed you the four and the two, and this is the upper level of aggression here on, on this uh, plate here, which is uh, five and then six. Now I haven't used five and six, I've used four and two and one and three, and they're fantastic. And again, the advantage here is that you can find the perfect level of aggression for your, for your um, skin and your beard type. If you're looking to give someone uh, a razor, uh, a traditional three-piece razor, uh, this is a really good choice, a very, very good choice, because with those three plates and two sides for levels of aggression, the wet shaver is going to be able to find the perfect level of aggression for their shave. Now, there are times when I am using this, and I, and I just used it today, too, as a matter of fact, to shave. I used a 4-2 plate. Um, I will shave with it, say, at level 4, and then I'll take that plate there, 4. That's 4 right there, and I'll flip it over to level 2. And just like that, and I'll continue with my shave. So there we are at level, level 2 right there. And I'll just continue with my shave. And um, that way, uh, I kind of have an adjustable razor during my shave. But I think for the most part, it's just meant for you to find the uh, perfect level of aggression for you uh, so that you can shave that way throughout. But I do uh, you know, flop that plate over one side to the other from four to two, from three to one. I have yet to use the five and the six plates because I think it's giving that's probably getting into a level of aggression. It's a little too much for me. But if your if your beard and skin type are a little more demanding, well, there you have it. You have that option too. So it's like buying six razors in one. It really is a terrific system. And uh, the stainless steel 6S is a hundred dollars. Now they do make a lower cost. A chrome plated version made out of I think Zamac and it's chrome plated. It's about 50 bucks, but the stainless steel is Wonderful. It is absolutely wonderful. It gave me a beautiful beautiful shave today Really really like this razor a lot the Rockwell All right getting into some of the more traditional safety razors uh, in my group here That are not adjustable so to speak with the exception of one so to speak uh, Let's kind of move on here. The next one up is the Henson the Henson Mild. This is CNC machined air, from Aircraft Aluminum. This is an absolutely precisely engineered and precisely machined razor. This is fantastic. It has this uh, T-shaped razor head and this surface right here, as long as you place that on your face while you're shaving, you're going to hit that proper shave angle of 30 degrees every single time. That's what makes this so great. It is Lighter weight than the other razors that I showed you because it is aluminum, but don't let that fool you. Uh, this really does a great job and gives a wonderful, wonderful shave. Um, very, very smooth, unlike any other razor I've used. A very good razor if you're coming over from a, a cartridge razor because it almost has that pad-like feel, so to speak, that a cartridge razor has. If you're using a cartridge razor, you're pressing it to your face and you're pulling. Now, you're not going to press this to your face. You're going to use a light touch, but I'm just saying it, that that pad feel will be a little 
will be a little reminiscent of a cartridge razor. It'll help you make that transition from a cartridge razor to a safety razor very, very easily. And after you uh, shave with this, you can move into the more traditional safety razors that I've showed you. Um, but really, terrific, terrific razor. Uh, about $70 right now. When I bought, uh, bought them, I bought two. I bought the medium and I bought the mild. This is the mild here. Uh, they were like uh, $50 each. Really, the mild is my daily shaver. And I think it will be for a lot of wet shavers that are kind of in the ballpark with my you know, being fair skinned like me, having being having skin borders on the sensitive sides, that, that sort of thing. This for most wet shavers that are in that ballpark, I think this is a perfect shave for everyday use. Now the medium, a little too aggressive for me, but there are some out there that your beard is more demanding. It's going to be a great razor for you. But uh, yeah, the Henson, really terrific razor. Again, CNC machine, very precise and uh, out of aircraft aluminum. Really, really terrific, terrific razor. The blade aligns spot on every single time. It really is a very, very well-made razor. Next up is the Razor Rock Game Changer. Now, I got the Razor Rock razor head from a viewer named Greg in uh, Virginia. Uh, before I forget, I also got the, uh, <laughs> got the Rockwell from Jim Gazda, Jim of Northfield. Thank you very much, Jim, and thank you very much, Greg. Um, uh, they gave it to me in support of the channel. I'm very appreciative of them. But uh, Greg sent me the razor head. This is a 0.68 blade gap. They also make a 0.84 blade gap, which is a little more aggressive. Uh, I happen to have a stainless steel handle from another Razor Rock razor, the Mission Razor. And this is their Bulldog stainless steel handle. If you buy these, this handle with this razor head on Razor Rock, it's about $55. You'll so have to add in your shipping. So you figure maybe 60, a little over 60 bucks, something like that. So uh, fully stainless steel razor. Boy, is this smooth. It is very, very precisely made. This razor head, uh, you can see right here that it has some just terrific labeling on it. It's got uh, some numbering to identify what you have. The, um, the base plate and the cap are kind of reversed where the base plate has raised pins, so to speak, that lines into those recesses on the cap, whereas it's a little different on uh, other safety razors. It's kind of the other way around. But uh, really, just a smooth, smooth shave. I was so impressed by this. Uh, really nice low profile for getting up underneath the nostrils. Um, just a smooth, enjoyable shave with this. Um, just wonderfully engineered, beautifully machined, fully stainless steel when you buy it with a stainless steel handle. Uh, just a fantastic, fantastic razor. And I think very much worth the uh, $55 to $60 price tag. Really, another razor that's going to last a lifetime. I think all these razors will last a lifetime. Absolutely beautiful. So that's the game changer from Razor Rock. Um, if you're looking for a mild shave, the 0.68 uh, blade gap uh, razor head is for you. If you want something a little more aggressive, then you have to go with the, the 0.84. But the 0.68 is absolutely perfect for me. I love it. It's a three-pass razor. Very efficient, very smooth like this razor a lot, the game changer from Razor Rock. Next up is the metaphor from Phoenix Shaving. How about this? Another fully stainless steel razor, but here is something else really neat. This is their flare tip series. So this tip can be removed and you can replace it with a different color tip, a red tip, a blue tip, a black tip, whatever you want. Uh, I do have a couple of different color tips, but uh, I just like to keep it consistent uh, throughout. You can also remove the tip and have a shorter handled razor if you want. This is based on a vintage French razor design. It's got this beautiful sculpted head here. This is a mild yet efficient razor. The end tabs of the blades are enclosed. Wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Again, stainless steel. Love the knurling on this. This is a really nice grippy pattern to it. Uh, looks very unique but also stands out among all the other razors. When you look at this in the drawer, you immediately see it because of that knurling pattern and because of the sculpted cap. Uh, love this razor a lot. Again, stainless steel. This is about $70. Uh, this is another great choice. 
uh, a great daily shaver. All these razors are daily shavers. Um, this one uh, I can use every single day, uh, two to three passes, and I get a great, great shave. The uh, metaphor from Phoenix Shaving. Now, the one thing about Phoenix Shaving is uh, a lot of their razors are so well manufactured that uh, they sell very quickly. So get on the mailing list if this or any of the other Phoenix Shaving razors that I'm showing you here are out of stock because they do sell fast. And then when you get that email, uh, email alert, get up there and buy it right away. So yeah, this is, uh, this is a terrific razor. The metaphor from Phoenix Shaving. Uh, next up is the Rex Supply Envoy Stainless Steel Razor. Boy, this is nice. A lot of thought went into this razor. Fully stainless steel. Again, end tabs on the uh, razor blade are enclosed in the uh, razor head here. Uh, terrific. They have did some really terrific machining on this that is above and beyond some of the other razors I'm showing you. For instance, they've got this recessed collar right here on the handle and they have uh, the base plate countersunk. So that just fits in there. Let me show you. That fits in there just, just like that. So nicely. So no What a nice touch that is. All right. And every one of them is numbered. So you can, you can register that. Uh, the branding on it is very, very good. Again, it's fully stainless steel. Uh, it is a slot and groove uh, kind of configuration. So here you have the, the slots on the cap. Again, opposite from what the game changer was. And you have some grooves right here in the base plate and it goes together like that and it doesn't go all the way through which is really nice it's a solid base plate on the bottom made in america uh, I, i'm guessing this is precisely cnc machine it's an absolutely beautiful razor beautiful weight to it and again it goes together so nicely wonderful knurling great size not overly long not overly short feels great in the hand wonderful weight it has a little bit of a hole here in the base because they sell a razor stand, which is like a disc with a post, and you can put it right on there. I don't have that stand. I kind of <laughs> regret not getting it. This is an absolutely wonderful razor. This offers a very mild to mid-aggression shave. It's in that mild range and just on the cusp of going into the mid-aggression mid -aggression range. But boy, this is just a really, really terrific, terrific razor. Just like this a lot. And uh, it's given me some great, great shaves. Matter of fact, I, I can pull this out and, and do a second shave. Uh, if, if I've shaved in the morning and then for some reason I'm going out in the evening, I need to shave in the evening, I'll, I can use this very, very easily and get a great shave without any irritation. Two passes and I'm done. Wonderful, wonderful razor. The uh, Envoy from Rex Supply. Terrific, terrific razor. Now, before I get to this last razor, here's an honorable mention. It almost falls in the category of $50 and up. Uh, and that is the Vikings Blade Godfather Stonehenge. It's about $47, uh, but uh, depending on where you buy it and if you're going to pay for shipping, it'll get the price up a little more. But boy, is this a nice razor. Stainless steel cap, stainless steel handle, uh, a Zamac beautifully gold-plated uh, or brass-plated uh, base plate. A lot of heft, really nice fit and finish, uh, just a Beautiful, beautiful razor. The handle, I don't know what processes they're using uh, to uh, create the grippiness on this handle because when it gets wet, it does really maintain its grip. It fits nicely in the hand. It has beautiful, beautiful weight. Probably the heaviest razor here at the table. Uh, and it just offers a mild and smooth shave. Uh, I've talked about the feather blade being a really, really aggressive razor blade. And I'm slowly working into uh, using feathers more. Uh, this razor uh, really is, offers such a mild shave that I can put a feather in here with absolutely no fear of, of doing any undue irritation to my face. This is really, you know, with that feather blade, this is really a wonderful, wonderful razor. And again, I like some of the ribbing they have right here on the neck and also towards the tail end of it. And uh, it just, it's just a wonderful Razor, love this comb here, love the shape of the head, low profile, absolutely wonderful. This kind of gets an honorable mention. It's right there in, on, the, on the cusp of entering the 
uh, upper end of uh, pricier razors. But boy, they made a they they made a terrific razor at a nice price point. But I did want to mention that. Last but not least is one of my really favorite razors uh, from the top end collection here, and that is the Copper Ascension from Phoenix Shaving. Boy, is this a wonderful razor. Uh, it's wonderful for a variety of reasons. First of all, it's a uh, double open comb razor. Uh, so it kind of holds that lather in there a little bit so you can do a little bit of buffing. Although I tend to use it just like I use any other um, traditional safety razor. Uh, it has twist adjustability. Because of the shape of this razor head, when you install the blade, it puts tension on here and acts as a spring and holds this head rock solid so that you can adjust this handle and open up that blade gap a little bit. You can give it a full quarter turn, maybe even a little more, uh, to really open up the aggression on this razor. Snugged up all the way, it offers a beautifully, beautiful, mild shave. If you want to go a little more aggressive, all you do is just open it up a little bit and shave away, and you'll get a little more aggression. Uh, it's kind of like uh, a shaving adventure because, you know, wherever you dial this, uh, an eighth of a turn, a sixteenth of a turn, a quarter of a turn, uh, you're going to uh, change up your shave from shave to shave with this. Uh, really, really wonderful. The other thing that's great is it's copper, and copper retains a lot of heat. So all you have to do is hold this under some hot water under your faucet, and you have a nice, warm razor to shave with. Uh, I love doing that. I'll hold this under for several. I'll hold, this, I'll hold this under the hot tap water for several seconds, and then I'll just give it a little dip in the sink, just to take it down a little bit. And I get this beautifully, beautifully warm, heated razor throughout my shave. Absolutely wonderful. Love, love, love this. Uh, and again, it comes with uh, an O-ring right here. That O-ring helps to uh, the adjustability. It gives you a little more of a turn, probably a little extra quarter turn or so to open up that blade gap a little more. It's not really required uh, to uh, aid with the twist adjustability. It just gives you a little more, just gives you a little more, um, a little more ability. It gives you that little extra ability to open up that blade gap just a little more, but I keep it in place. I get some great shaves with it. Really, really wonderful uh, razor. It's a hundred dollars. It's worth every penny. It really is terrific. It's got the bomb tip handle and uh, like it a lot. Uh, if for some reason the Ascension is probably out of your price range, they sell one in stainless steel. It's a little less expensive. And they also sell their standard Ascension, which is in the Flare Tip series, uh, which is with a stainless handle and a Zamac plated razor head. And I think that's about $45. So that is going to come into my review with the more moderately priced razors. And that's a wonderful razor at that price point too. But boy, the Copper Ascension, Love this razor because of the twist adjustability, the double open comb, and the heat retention that it has. It just offers a really, really warm, warm shape. Okay, that's it. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. Please share, please subscribe, please like. Hit that bell so to give you a yell the next time I upload a video. Comment below. Let me know. Check out the executive shaving company. Use the code MARK5. Check out my blog, georgetune.com slash blog for my comments from George, other cartoons, other videos like this. I'm on Facebook. Check out my Facebook page. Check out Phoenix Artisan Accoutrements for some great, great shaving gear. Check out vikingsblade.com for some great shaving gear. Check out Global Shave Clubs International for some great shaving gear. Check out my Amazon product page at amazon.com slash shop slash Mark's where you'll find all the products I review in this channel. Organized and categorized. You can find everything in a snap very easily. Thanks very much for tuning in again. I really do appreciate it. I'll see you again real soon.